everyone, my name is Annette, and you might know me on social media as Matters Plays, and today I'm going to talk to you about a game that has area control in it, and that game is Glux. So let me show you exactly how to play this game, and then at the end I'll show you exactly why I like this game so much. So let's get to it. So here is a board for a three or four player game. Every player is going to go ahead and pick a marker of their color and place it on one of the corners one of the corners for every four players, or for three players, one of them will be on the edge. Every player is also going to have an extra marker in order to track their points along the edge of the board. Every player is also going to get a sack of tokens inside, and these tokens, there's three different types, and they're double-sided. So this one token will have a six, a five will have a two, and a four will have a three on the other side. The first thing the players will do is reach into their bag and pull out one token. Now this token will be placed on the corner. So the first player will decide which number they will place face up. So the goal of the game is to have majority in these lit up rooms. If you have your tokens in these rooms, then you will figure out who has control of that. So for example, if you have your token there with six pips on them and another opponent has four, well, you have the majority, therefore you have control, and you score those points. So how do you get into these rooms? Let me show you how. After you draw your token from the bag, you're going to decide where to place it on the board. So you follow the number of pips that are already on the board. For example, this four, you can move four adjacent away, not diagonally, and you can move it either left, right, up, or down. And then that's where you can place your token. You decide if you want the three or the four in this case. Now every player is going to take turns placing their tokens as well. So in your next turn, if you were to draw this five or this two, you can place this based on the other tokens that are on the board. So you can place this four away, or even here too, or even on an opponent or your own token as well. You can cover it as long as there's only one token there. Once there's two tokens, then you can't place any more on top. Eventually, the board will start filling up, and then that's when things will get interesting. The board is going to start filling up with these tokens, and there'll be times when you can't put a token on the board. For example, this six right here cannot move six in this direction because this token is blocking it. Therefore, it can only move to the left or to the right, and it can't go beyond the board. Eventually, there might be a time where you can't place or you don't want to place one of your tokens in a certain spot. You're always allowed one time only to place one of your tokens drawn onto the corner of where you initially started. So the game ends eventually when all the tokens are used up or when one player cannot place any more tokens on the board. After that point, then we're all going to add up our scores of each individual room. Whoever has the majority of a certain room, for example, this purple one does, they will get four points. The other player who's also in it will get two points for being second place. If players are tied for first place, then they all get four points. If players are tied for second place, then they both get two points. Whoever has the most points at the end of the game wins. So welcome back. Now, one of the reasons I really love Glux is because of the change on the board. There's so much going on. And then also the decisions that every player is going to have on their turn. You're randomly drawing a token and you're deciding which side of that token you're going to use. And also, where are you going to place it? Eventually, the game becomes congested with all these tokens, and the decisions of the placement and the side of the token becomes more and more intense. And it's just so simple to teach someone, however, there's so much thought that goes into this game. Another reason I really like this game is because of the interactiveness between players on the board. The board is becoming congested with all these tokens, so you can't really see everything. And there's just so much going on that it just feels great whenever you catch someone off guard by placing your token on top of someone else's piece or blocking them or even suddenly gaining majority in a certain room. 
So just because of all that interactiveness, it's a mean game, but it's a lot of fun. And that's why I really enjoy Glucks.